I think it really kind of goes back to understanding what the mission is. And, and first thing is they have to be engaged with it. Um, uh, Chris McChesney in the book, Four Disciplines of Execution, talks about, you know, really the definition of engagement, engagement is really helping your team uh, win at something that matters. So that they have to really be winning at something that matters. And, and that really equates to engagement. And so uh, there, there are scorecard things that we have to do. So we have to really define what are we trying to accomplish and what is our scorecard so they can see we're not just at the end of the month or at the end of the year did we win. They have to be ongoing. Are we winning? Um, and I think that's really helping us to uh, connect with them and, and engage them. Um, part of that book, and he really talks about, you know, if you watch, whether it's soccer, if you watch kids play soccer or basketball or something, it's like if they're just playing for fun, um, you know, they're, it's, it's kind of loose. They're, they're having fun. They're, they're not good. But if you all of a sudden you add a score to it, then all of a sudden the intensity increases. Um, and so he talks about how that's how you really engage and connect with them. Um, I think for us, we've had to go through um, – we were very hesitant on creating a leadership structure um, because we really wanted to identify people that had skills and talents that were, that were engaged and then we we're going to find how, how do we utilize them in the business. So we kind of create our structure around our people that we have uh, as opposed to creating a structure and trying to put people into that structure. And so uh, that may lead to the next point on reinventing, but we change our structure quite a bit because it's really, you know, we're trying to accomplish certain get certain results. And so we're, we're trying to find people that are connected with that result as opposed to necessarily a specific piece of the business. And so, um, so anyway, so that's one way that we really try to engage with people. The development side of it, uh, just kind of an example for us is um, we have a young lady who's really taken over our store. She's kind of our executive director now. Um, and I think for her, it, it's, it's providing that opportunity. It's, it's casting the vision for her, but allowing her to be herself as she, she may create a vision within that, hey, what do you want the leadership team to look like? Who do you feel like you need to be involved in? Um, me letting go of how I would do it all the time. Um, and that's been a challenge uh, sometimes because I always feel like I, I have the best way to do it. Um, but really using her skills and talents um, and, and, and kind of, and then, and then just having touch points, weekly touch points where we connect every Monday. Say, hey, tell me what, what you're doing with this. How's it going? Or what do you feel like we need to move forward with? And giving her the opportunity to grow and develop in that um, and, and being able to, to kind of move in the direction that she may feel is try some things and giving her some freedom to do that. Um, and so, um, so those are kind of the, the kind of examples of how we really uh, try to engage uh, one with the mission, but showing them that they're winning and then really kind of spending, uh, having some weekly touch points where we're connecting with them regularly uh, to see if they have any questions or coach them through that, not necessarily tell them the answers, but ask good questions and, um, but then giving them the freedom to be able to uh, to make some decisions and, and, and fail if necessary, which is hard. Um, but uh, but giving them uh, just as as a parent would to a child, kind of giving them some freedom to to make some decisions and and, and maybe feeling the consequences sometimes of those decisions. Um, but that's those are a couple of examples of things that we're doing in that area.